All right. Well, guys, I'm gonna do a quick, this is gonna be a little different of a video. I'm gonna do a quick uh, review slash update on what kind of sticks I was using this year for hanging hunting. Um, I didn't really use them that much when they came in. It was like October, early October. So I didn't use them in, in the early season, but I used them October through like December pretty much for hanging hunting and hunting on public land or just throwing up a tree stand quick for one hunt like I did back here at camp. Um, but yeah, without further ado, I'll show you guys the sticks that I ran this year. They are climbing sticks by Novix. They're just called Novix climbing sticks. Uh, they're 33 inches. Each stick is 33 inches. Um, yeah, they're sort of like lone. Here, I'll step back a little bit. They're sort of like Lone Wolf. Novix is like a sister company, sort of, to Lone Wolf. The dude that it was actually a dude that worked at Lone Wolf, and he didn't like what like what direction they were heading in or something. I read up on it a little bit, but I didn't read it completely. But yeah, he didn't really like the direction Lone Wolf was going, and so Novix is just like a sister company to that and their stuff is a little bit cheaper yeah so they're just like they're like lone wolf sticks I've never ran lone wolf sticks but I mean I've seen them online they look the exact same they have a versa button and they have diagonal steps so they switch they switch sides of the stick every time you step up which a lot of people actually don't like a lot of people don't like the diagonal steps but I really don't mind them the only reason people don't like them that I've heard is because like when you're hanging a tree stand or the platform to your saddle is you you're only stepping on one on a one step which I I understand I mean it's it's pretty much or it's it's pretty tough to do but I mean once you do it for a while or like like for two months like I did almost a whole hunting season I got used to it 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 gets it gets annoying sometimes like if you're on a bigger tree and you can't really wrap around but it's it's not the biggest biggest thing I guess you could say and another thing that they have is pivoting tree brackets so if you were to set it up on a tree which you guys can even see right there so if I were to slide this down and this tree were crooked then this tree bracket would like move with the with the way of the tree so that way it grabs with the angle of the tree more uh, Honestly, I have no complaints about the tree bracket part because you've probably seen videos online, but I did it. I can do it too when I when I take these sticks down. I can take the the strap, the tree strap off, and once you take the tree strap off, the stick just sits on this on the tree, and then you have to like pull it off because these bite in so well. But yeah, just a quick update. I wanted to let you guys know what kind of sticks I was running this year. If anyone cared, there are no Vix. Uh, four pack. Like I said, the, these were four pack. Um, I don't think I have anything. Oh, I can show you guys the tree strap. So it's, it's it's sort of similar to the hog helium mini sticks that I ran last year. The strap is, but it's a different material. And this material, I don't know if it's the material in it or maybe it's just the hog helium straps are cheaper, but. In the cold, if you climb these, these don't squeak. Like when when it you're when you step on your stick and it pulls down into the tree, these don't squeak. But the Hawk Helium Mini Sticks, when you step on them, it's I don't like I said I don't know if it's the material or what it is, but they squeak a lot when it's like below zero, or freezing temperatures, not below zero. Which I mean, a lot of people can say oh, that doesn't matter, but when you're hunting and you're trying to get into a spot quietly like bedding area maybe or yeah maybe it's rut and you're trying to get into a bedding area or maybe you're going to hunt a uh, field or something and you just want to climb up in your tree stand silently you can't with those hawk heliums those are loud I found maybe it's just me and the ones I got but these are dead quiet uh, you can do modifications with them you can do amp steel if you wanted to but I haven't found the need to a lot of people would say 30 what did I say? 33 inches? Yeah, 33 inches. 
A lot of people would say this stick is too long and then they'd want to cut down the first step, but I, I don't find the need to do that. I think, you know, they made them this, this way for a reason, then they made mini sticks. If you want mini sticks, the only thing with mini sticks is they're lighter. And then if you throw an aider on, it's sort of just like having this except lighter. But I mean, yeah, I don't, I don't really find the need to do that, but I'll show you guys how they hook onto each other. So if you can tell, you just take the tree bracket on one of them and you set it down onto the other stick like that. See? I mean, they rattle a little bit, but you put stealth tape on them. And once you buckle them in, they aren't loud at all. So there's that and that. And then you take your little buckle. So there's that. And yeah, you cinch it down. And I mean, they, they rattle a little bit, but if you put stealth tape on it here or or if you're just stronger than me and you could actually tighten this. <laughs> I mean, it's, it quieted down a little bit. But yeah, there it is. That's what I ran this year, Novix Climbing Sticks. I'll leave their uh, website linked in the description. This is not a sponsor. I like those sticks. They are a little pricey, but if you're gonna run them for a while, then I mean it's worth it's worth the money. I suggest these more than the Hawk Helium Mini Sticks, but then again, they're cheaper. Plastic is on them, and they're just cheap. They use cheaper materials, but at the same time, I mean, Hawk Helium Sticks do the same thing as these. So, yeah, I mean, you guys, I was just giving you guys a r quick review and update on what I used. If you wanted to know, giving you my input and. Yeah, next time I see you guys, I'll probably be ice fishing. Hopefully, I get ice fishing done this year, but as of right now, it's December 17th, and we have no snow, and it's like 35 degrees out. Yesterday, it was like 60, so who knows what's going on with the weather. But yeah, I'll see you guys in the next one. Make sure you like, subscribe, comment. Let me know what you guys want to see in videos. I really want to know, because I need video ideas, especially in the winter, I mean, what am I going to do except ice fish? Trap. If you guys want to see trapping videos, let me know. Uh, go check out Hunter's channel. His, his channel is actually going off pretty good, so go check that out. Uh, yeah, like, subscribe. Like, subscribe, comment. Turn your post notifications on. Yeah, that's about it, guys. See you on the next one. Peace.